everybody, welcome, welcome, welcome to this American Truck Sim video where I'm finally going to have a go at trying to get back into playing this game. I haven't played it for quite a long time. In fact, I haven't played it since all the DLC was was released. So, um, during the current recent Steam Summer Sale, I um, proceeded to... Um, have a quick look at all the DLC, grab it all while it was on offer, and then proceed to um, have a bit of a, 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 a look at different things. Um, so I've reinstalled the game from scratch, started a brand new profile, and I'm experiencing a couple of little issues, um, as you will probably see during this video, to do with the money type stuff. Um, what are we taking? What are we going to take? What, we, what job are we going to do? Don't want something that's too, 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 too ra rashy. That's a long job. That goes into Arizona. That goes into Arizona. Excavated soil. Oh, we could take excavated soil. That goes all the way up to the north. I'll take that job. So, unlike the last time I played this game as well, I am not playing. We've got a track ahead of us. Stay safe, my friend. Okay, Liam. Thank you, Mr. Neeson, for looking out for me. So, I'm not playing this with my steering wheel anymore. My Logitech Driving Force GT, because I don't currently have it connected and set up on my PC. So, I'm trying to play it with controller, which obviously is quite limiting. Um, in 0 0.1 miles, turn right. Okay, Mr. Neeson, I will do as you say. I will turn, turn right. right. Turn right. Nothing's coming. Not that I can really see too well. Looking in my mirrors. Right, and off we go then, truckers. Let's get doing some trucking. Uh, one of the things I have noticed about the game since I last played it, um, you can change your views a lot better now. Certainly on controller, it's much nicer to go third person. And also change back to the internal um, camera view. If you want to be internal. Keep left, and then you. turn left. I will do so, Mr. Neeson. Please don't hurt me if I get it wrong. Turn oh, left. So I have to go into this little box here. Now I can't see the traffic lights. Come on, give me the left arrow. Come on. Because I'm kind of blocking a lane back here now. Both side mirrors. Awesome. Oh, that's my. I can go now. I can go. I'm allowed to go. The lights on green. We're not driving a Mercedes Formula One car anymore, kids. This thing. Oh, I need to be in the right lane. Keep right, and then turn right. You have new mail. I don't really care for new. Turn mail. right. So we swing out a bit. Oh, there he nearly hit that signpost. I nearly took down that sign. The steering, um, I notice with controller, is not as fast as with the steering wheel. It takes a long while for it to respond to your movements, and it doesn't. It turns, you know, when you move the analog stick. The steering moves very slowly. So, it's a little bit more awkward than what I remember being used to, but I'm getting used to it. The good thing is, if I can play with controller, that's going to be easier for me in the longer term. 
I certainly would never play the game with keyboard and mouse because I don't think you can accurately do driving and steering and stuff like that using keyboard and mice. But we're going to deliver this to where it needs to go. We'll be taking gravel, tarmac, something like that. Whoa. Chase cam. Meow. Back to internal. So yeah, I haven't played American Truck Sim for quite a while. And people might ask, why have you gone for American Truck Sim over um, Euro Truck Sim? With you being obviously an English, British, UK person. And the simple answer is because actually not a lot of Euro Truck Sim takes place in the UK. If you've ever played the UK part of Euro Truck Sim, the map is very, very poor. It's not very detailed driving around the UK. Driving right. around obviously the part and of the world. Keep right. The part of the world that I'm familiar with. So um oh, I need to go this way. Keep right. So that's one of the reasons why I figured if I'm gonna play a game, I might as well go for something completely alien to me and go for America. Because um Keep I've left. played Euro Trim, I've played a little bit, and like I say, until the the, Brit the UK part of um, the um, the UK part of the um, Euro Trucks map gets a big update, and even if using when you're using, I've I've used Pro Mods in the past with Euro Truck, and even with Pro Mods installed, the UK is not very detailed and not very accurate for driving on. Still has a lot of places missing. You know, I, I've always joked when I played Euro Truck Sim that one of the things I really wanted to do was be able to drive to my hometown in, in on the map and be able to drive into my hometown and almost drive past my house. But the game does not allow that. <laughs> so I figured I'd play on the American map, then I have no idea whether how accurate this map is. How they've recreated all these American states and that. Because I've never been never been anywhere near them you know so I would never know oh we have got cruise control on this have we it's handy about the first truck they've given me that has cruise control so I can't speed but yeah I thought I'd give the American Truck Sim a go like I said I've got all the DLC now including all the stuff that's just recently released, Oregon and Washington and all that stuff. Um, I don't really, as I say, I'm not too familiar with the game, never played that much of it. I'm just noticing that it seems like from the start of this game, I don't know whether it's just because I'm playing American Truck Sim, but certainly when I played Euro Truck Sim when you first started the game, and obviously you don't own any trucks or anything like that, and you're having to do these quick jobs to build up money to hopefully be able to afford to buy your own trucks and then you can start your own actual trucking company and take your own jobs and stuff. Um, but, um, it's a bit more of a grind in that game. Whereas so far, it's I've done two quick jobs so far on this profile. I've done two quick jobs, and it would seem to me that um, we get paid a heck of a lot more money in America for delivering stuff than we do in Europe. Because <laughs> I've made quite a lot of money already, and I've only done two jobs. Now I don't know whether it's because I've started in New Mexico, whereas obviously when the game when ATS first came out, the only map available to me was um, um, California. That was the only state. Uh, California and Nevada, I think it was. Those were the only two states available. Whether they pay differently over there for doing jobs, I don't know. Whether the money's not quite as good over in that part of America, I don't know. But I've done two quick jobs here in New Mexico, and I'm making good bank, you know? Now, I haven't checked the prices of the trucks to see if the trucks are now more expensive in the game than they were when I last played. 
because obviously I haven't found any dealerships yet because I've not driven to any. There's a couple of rest areas up ahead, but apparently... Oh, you brake testing me, you son of a... Seriously, dude? Move into your lane and then start to brake, perhaps, you know? That's a good idea. Te move into the slip road and then slow down. Don't slow down in the middle of the highway. Crikey. It's no wonder trucks kill people. And like, I, you know, these truck drivers are terrible. You know, one nearly killed me a couple of years ago and I've never had a, a love for truck drivers ever since. And trucks. And even now, sitting in the cab of one, I'm not feeling, um, feeling much love for them. <laughs> I'll be quite honest. They still terrify me. And it's weird that even though this is a video game and I'm sat here in my in my gaming room, my game my office playing this, whenever a truck comes past me, it triggers my P my PTSD in real life. I still get actual real reactions to it, even though it's a video game, it's made up, it's not real. That is and that is so weird. <laughs> How a video game can do that to you. But yeah, I thought I'd do this little quick job just to do something a little bit different, a little bit of a different video on the channel for a change. Break up the farming sim stuff. And you can see how bad I am at truck driving. Although I've driven lots of trucks and trailers in farm sim, it's not as quite as in-depth and detailed as uh, this. drive comfortably below the speed limit for a bit. Checking my mirrors, nothing. Whoa, 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 slow down, son. Although, to be fair, had I seen him earlier, I would have probably moved into the right lane to give him room to enter onto the, 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 the carriage, dual carriageway, like you should do. But again, lorry drivers here in the UK don't tend to do that. They stay in that left lane all the way down, so you come to the edge of a slip road and you suddenly have to slam your brakes on because they've not moved over <laughs> to give way and let you on because they think they own the road Keep because left. they're big. It's a bit rocky. Looks like I've got a couple of garages in that part of the world down there, which I haven't thing is, until you get your own truck, you really can't go off and explore the map and discover locations. But unless you discover, explore the map and discover locations, you can't find the dealerships to go and buy the trucks. But yeah, certainly I think when lorries are on dual carriageways, they should be made to stay in the, uh, the slow lane. Here, yeah, obviously in the UK, it would be on the other side of the road and we'd be in the left lane. But that's, they should never be moving out into the right lane. They certainly shouldn't never be trying to overtake anything. And honestly, any driver, any truck driver that does venture out of the slow lane should be um, fined immediately. And his company should be fined. And he should get penalty points on his license. And that would soon, that would soon eliminate a lot of the um, accidents that you see on dual carriageways and motorways with trucks and lorries. Because 99% of the time it's caused by them changing lanes and getting in the way of faster moving vehicles. And a lot of the time, when these vehicles change and move lanes, they're not actually looking. They don't check the mirrors, they, they just pull out. Because again, they think I'm bit the biggest thing in the road. You'll 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 avoid me. Sometimes it's not easy to avoid them when they suddenly decide oh, I'm just going to pull out. As I found when I was alongside one, <laughs> and it pulled out and put me in the barriers in the middle of the road. Keep right, and then exit right. Okay, we're exiting ahead. Indicate plenty of time. Exit right. We'll start to slow down a bit. And then we're going to go left. Turn left. I wondered where you'd gone to, Mr. Neeson. You'd been quiet for so long. Whoa! Stop. 
stupid car. Stupid car driver. He just broke the truck. That's cost me. That's fined me. I've paid fine now. Crash offence. Cheers. Continue straight. Right, what's this building over here with the W on it? Again, I can't, I can't see the lights. Do you know what I might do? I might have a drive around and see what that is. Is that a dealership with a W? Or is that just like a... Uh, I've got a few minutes extra, so let's just go on a little bit of a detour. Keep left, and then turn left. See what we can find. Turn left. Keep left. And then turn left. Keep left. And then turn left. Turn left. I don't mind having a bit of an explore at the end of our, 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 our journey into some of these parts of the world. Um, I would like to know what that is up there in front of us. Um, I don't know if that's a dealership or not. I really don't know. I'm waiting for me to turn left arrow to light up. But it's not doing... <laughs> There we go. Keep left, and then turn left. Keep left? Turn, and turn left. left. I think I've put my headlights on. I can't see the arrows again, so I'm going to have to move, <laughs> change camera. That's where you need that head tracking type stuff, I suppose, to be able to look under the, uh, the visor. Wahlberg. No, so it's just that's just a delivery point then. It's not a dealership. Uh, okay, I kind of wasted my time coming down here. <laughs> In 0 0.1 miles, turn right. Okay, Liam. I'll turn right. In 0 0.1 miles. Turn right. I will when they give me permission. Notice I'm not picking up any traffic light penalties or speeding tap fines. I'm being good. I'm being good in that regard. There we go. Let's give it the full beans. What this hill? The 
Police reported ahead. Police reported ahead. Watch out for the popo. Continue straight. No traffic lights at that crossroads. That seems a bit strange. Police reported ahead. I'm pretty sure there's no police ahead. In 0 0.1 miles, turn left. Turn left. Right, where do you want this then, mate? Where do you want all this? You have reached your system? destination. I have reached my destination. Thank you, Leo, for your assistance in guiding me on this journey. Where do you want it then, pal? Where do you want it? Uh, you want it along there. You know what? I reckon I can do that, sunshine. But basically, I've got to back the trailer in there. Well, that's going to be interesting, because I didn't realise there was a little shopping trolley in the way. You've now reached the, the what is probably going to be the longest part of the video. Me trying to get this trailer into that area. Managing it okay, and then kind of didn't manage it very well at all. Uh, no, now you see now I'm getting in a tangle because the wheels don't straighten up automatically. Whereas they do in obviously farm sim. Farm sim, your truck will straighten up. But hey, that'll do there. We've got an excellent rating. See, I'm getting that's that's one million four hundred and fourteen thousand one hundred and seventeen dollars. 555 experience. I got 49,000 bonus for the proficiency. Trailer maneuvering bonus. So I got 270 XP. So why am I getting so much money? I'm going to take another bonus in high value cargo. I'm also thinking I'm going to take. Uh, fuel economy. So yeah, apparently you know, I've got two million pounds now in the bank, and I don't know why, because I've only done three jobs. I don't know why I'm getting so much money. I've tried, I've tried creating a profile three times now. First profile I created, I had this problem where I was getting tons of money. The second profile I created, um, I didn't get tons of money for doing jobs, but I was getting ridiculous amounts of XP. And, um, you know, literally I did the fir first tutorial job and I got like five levels of experience. And I was like, that doesn't seem right. So I started this profile and again, I'm getting tons of money, and I don't quite work it, know why. Because two million will enable me to buy a, a truck quite easily now, I would think, if we go to um, truck dealers. Um. Oh, 
Apparently, I haven't discovered a truck dealer yet, so I can't go to the truck dealer. Oh, I can. I can go down there. So, what's a truck cost these days? Uh, 113,000. So, I could buy a load of trucks. I could buy tons of trucks. Well, I can't because I'm not high enough level to buy trucks. So I can either have a Kenworth duty day cab type thing. Or I can have one of these. Um, but I need to sort out what's going on with the profile because um, I'm getting far too much money and I don't know why. So anyway, thank you for watching this very short little Euro Truck video. I hope you've enjoyed it. I've been C1ESO, so, and if you want to see me playing some more of this game, when I can figure out um, how to create a profile that doesn't have glitchy money, um, 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 leave your comments down below. And if you want to see more, and you leave enough comments, I'll do more. It's as simple as that. So for now, from me, it's goodbye.